Your contributions have earned you citizenship here, friend. I'll always consider you one of us. Oh, good. If I'm a citizen, that means I might be able to get a house. Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Good old Geldis is always managing to keep our spirits up. And our eyesight hazy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, how are things now that the mines are open again? With the mines open, Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunma people again. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying, now that we're deemed more important. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. Well, that's good to know. Nothing like uh, getting the economy moving again. So, do you rule all of Solstheim? Solstheim is theoretically under my rule. But without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Raven Rock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. So Raven Rock is the only settlement on the island? Okay, now I know that not to be true, but I'm saying it anyway, just because my character doesn't know any better. Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skull Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Tel Mithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Oh. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. Well, uh... Anything that you have to say about House Redoran and who they are? You've never heard of House Redoran? We're the mightiest of the great houses, and we lead the council. The ruling body of Morrowind. Council? You mean there's no Jarl? This isn't Skyrim, Outlander. A group of powerful and influential Dunmer families have been ruling Morrowind for millennia. They embody a council made up of five great houses. Telvani, Drez, Indoral, Sadras, and Redorin. But you said Rendorin leads the council. Well, of course. With four other houses on the council, someone has to keep the rabble organized. Our house leads the council by virtue of our preeminence in battle, wisdom, and ancestral glory. Sounds complicated. Yes. I imagine it would to someone not of our people. If you're interested in pursuing the subject, help yourself to any of the historical volumes in my library. Oh, cool. Uh, do you know someone called Mirak? Do I? What a strange thing. It sounds so familiar, and yet I cannot place the name. Can you tell me anything? I'm not even sure. I can picture a temple here on Solstheim. Must have been a bad dream. <laughs> My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. Yeah, you know, I'd like May to I discuss... Have a word with you, Counselor? Oh. Of course, Cindy. Hope we don't run into too Quite many ash spawn. I was concerned about our food stores. Jalen can only carry so much on each journey, and I'm afraid we might run out. Ugh. I'll speak with Garen and see if they I can't... I can't thank you enough for reopening the season. ebony mines. You've brought light to the darkness, Sorry, my friend. Right-o. Hey, uh, Sadri's got a new drink for you. What? Oh, no, thank you. I need to keep my head clear. Ugh. Oh. Frickin' teetotaler. Uh, how are things now that the mines are open again? You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mines open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstheim crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. Hmm. All right. I appreciate the help you've been giving us. Let's talk to his wife. She might know something. You've brought Ravenrock back from the brink, traveler. I don't know how to thank you. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, hey, Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Oh, how kind. Thank Geldas for me, won't you? Ooh, uh, that's seven out of ten. Uh, you mentioned you lost something? A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. 
They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Actually, I already have it. Oh god, the lusty Argonian. <laughs> Mavala, bless you. You found it. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please, accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. Right. Ring of Major Conjuration added. That will probably be phenomenally useful to me. Um, who's your husband? Adril Arano, second counselor of Raven Rock. How I hate that title. Damn fool's going to get himself killed over it someday. You worry much on your husband's behalf? He's in grave danger, and yet he continues to place himself in harm's way. When I fall asleep at night, all I can do is hope he'll still be there when I awaken. This island was never meant for us. There's too much death here. So you're just worried about the island and not like the Morag Tong or the Dark Brotherhood or something? Maybe you should return to Morrowind. I assure you, if I could convince Adril to do that, I'd be on the next ship back to Blacklight. Unfortunately, Adril and Counselor Morvane are very close friends, and they will never abandon one another, despite my feelings. Anytime you want to head for Skyrim. You haven't told him how you feel? I'm the I wife of a second counselor, so and certain things are expected of me. Lifetime. The most important thing is that I stand by Adril no matter how I feel, and I intend to do that until we get off this miserable rock. Well, you know, considering that you are a dark elf, and you live for like, what, 800 years? You'll, uh, I'm certain you'll manage. Uh, but where are you originally from, anyway? Adril and I lived in Blacklight, the capital city of Morrowind. House Redoran has improved Blacklight substantially over the last thousand years. Its grandeur rivals that of Mornhold itself. Ooh. The root spire where the Council of Great Houses meet is something to behold. <laughs> Sounds like quite the sight. I haven't seen the city in over 50 years. Even for a Dunmer, that seems like an eternity. Regardless, I hope to return there someday. Which doesn't seem likely, given my husband's commitment to Councillor Morvane. Well... Good journey, Traveler. I guess I can't buy property here. What a drag. Geldus? Well, the mine's open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Just like old times. Old times? How long have you been here? Okay, well, I've uh, distributed all of the Sajama as you requested. Perfect. All that's left now is to go ahead and wait for the patrons to come in. As promised, here's a little something for yourself. Oh, 250 gold, not exactly fantastic, but I'll take it anyway. How are things now that the mine is open? How do you think? It's a blessing. I've got regular paying customers again. Thirsty workers at the end of the day and more coin than I can count. That would be an enormous problem for your accounting system. Come back if you're feeling thirsty. I'll set you up right. Righto. Um... Immediately. Looks like I've exhausted my options for, um... Who? Uh... Finding anything at all... pertaining to owning a house. Maybe I don't own a house in Raven Rock. Maybe I have to own a house out in the Skull Village. Um... Don't know. Let's, uh, let's take a trip out to a place where I've been. Okay, there we go. Now, I've been to the fort. I know exactly what's waiting for me in there. So, um... Looks like there's another fort up this way. That's odd. I don't remember there being more than one, um, fortification anywhere on this island. Man, the ash is horrible out here. What the... heck? We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? Uh... Sure, I'll join. Well met, friend. May we all fight or die well. I swear you Come won't back. leave here alive. 
That impressive. Yes, die. It's the last of them. Uh, gold, match jelly, and leather. Crazy. So, uh, do I get anything for that? The beast was strong, but we were stronger. Okay. Oh no, you lost one. What was he carrying? Grilled chicken breast, honker meat. Two legs of goat, lockpick, some mead. Skull boots. Not much of anything. Hmm. Well, uh... Oh my word. Is this a standing stone? Uh, no, 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 it can't be right. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm basically right on top of the keep, so I'll go ahead and discover the location, at least. Ooh. Ooh. High Point Tower. Great. Let's just get this back up. Where's my companion? Don't tell me he got, him, uh, got himself lost up on the mountain. I didn't hire him so I could kill stuff alone. Jeez. Flawless. There we go. I love killing these spawn ash. They're, uh... They're so, so full of uh, useful items. What is this over here? I better be careful. Drop a save in here. Oh! Oh, Reavers, eh? Oh. Nope. I've got plenty more for you. Sword to the face. There we go. What have we got here? He's got some heavy armor. Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? Storm Fang? Just take that. Heal myself up. Gold and lockpick. Nothing really much. An adept chest. This is a strange camp. Well, this is a strange place to make camp. What exactly were they keeping here? Ooh, hey, check this out. Amongst the other things that I, uh... Alteration, where are you? Here we go, telekinesis. hoo can pick up and throw these things, it's awesome. An elven greatsword, some gold, and a uh, potion. Nice and simple. Some glass boots, garnet. Take all of this stuff. Worth my time. Another heartstone deposit. Oh! Oh, it's another East Empire box. Too bad I don't have the skill to uh, crack it open easily, otherwise, I would bother. An adept chest. This might be... Okay. There we go. Okay. Well, clearly this wasn't as interesting as I was hoping it would be, so I guess it's back to the tower. Um, I've got some time left in this episode. Uh, well, I say this episode, this recording session. 
I always have to be watching close because um, the way that it works is I know roughly how much recording I can do before I start to run into hard drive issues. Where on earth? Here we go, stairway. Oh no. No. Crap. It's been, uh, it's been ashed under. Well, since I can't get into the tower, let's see what else there is out here. Looks like there's a dwarven ruin on the island somewhere. Temple of Mirak is probably not too far to the north either. What's this? Ramshackle trading post. Empty wine bar. Oh! Oh, it's because I've got. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot that I had telekinesis equipped. Uh, it's another East Empire. It's freaking, oh, God, those things are, they taunt me wherever I go because I can't pick locks for the life of me. Come on, there's got to be a dungeon somewhere around here that I'm, that I can get into. Maybe this fort over here. What is up with all of these old forts? They were not here whenever I came around the last time. Island was actually pretty barren. Over here. Oh, well. Whoa. Hold on, there, pal. Didn't even hunt. Oop. Can't let him get to me. You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Uh, I wasn't expecting to kill him that way. Okay, elven arrows. Well done there. Reaver Marauder. Chitin, heavy chitin armor. Not much of anything worth my time. Come on. Oh, please. Real good tip for any of you who can't seem to lockpick. The best way to do it is to watch the very edge of the lockpick and uh, wait for it to jiggle. As soon as it starts to jiggle, you immediately stop putting pressure on the, uh, the tension. Nordic Barnacle. Oh, hey. Check that out. It's a uh, Nern Root. Where are we headed next? Ash Fallow Citadel. Well... I wonder what this place was for. Teldrin? Teldrin! There you are. Come on. Are you ready for this? Hope you are, because I am. Both of these in. Switch. Make a full save right out here. Pop inside.